Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of A Foundry. So, last episode, we unlocked the flare stack and the distillation column from tier 3 research. We got basic Olumu processing. Now, you might notice between episodes, I did a little bit of work. I basically just let the game run for a little bit, got a bunch of this basic research, um, but now we're moving on to like, the actually interesting stuff. But I figured we'd take a stop and we'd get elevator first. And probably the freight elevator right after. But Bebop has a mission for us, which is the jetpack. Would be really nice. I would love that. A jetpack? That idea might just take off. But it's a bit up in wow, the air. Wow, that's a pun right fuel. now. There's so many puns. Anyways, this episode is going to be all about oil processing. And between episodes, I went ahead and set up a nice little area over here by the Olumite Reservoir, which we started tapping into last time. Um, I also got the hangar gates, kind of cool. They open really slow though. Um, but I reorganized the pipes or the uh, the pump jacks, got the pipes going into a pump with a tank here. This tank only holds 25,000 liters, but I'm assuming that that is plenty. This is the distillation tower on the left, and that's the flare stack on the right. And the basic and the only recipe that we have right now is Olamite Refining Liquid Polymer, which takes in 100 crude Olamite and gives us 75 liquid polymer and 50 waste gas. I'm assuming that the flare stacks is for the waste gas. Um, quickly, before we get into it, I wanted to show off the windows. Oh, those are, um, uh, that's concrete. That's the wrong block there. Um, An elevator? That's certainly lifting our ambitions to the next Wow, level. there are Let's so many puns in this. To new heights. There are so many puns. Um, but glass can be made with, uh, if you go over to metallurg, nope, not metallurgy. Uh, what is it? Components, right? Yeah, glass, just made from gravel. So I made a little bit of that so I can put some glass in over here to uh, so we can see the uh, the transformer, which is power in this grid. And then underneath, I cleared out a nice large area for us to run pipes. So hopefully the top section of here, here isn't too messy. I don't know um, how much space we're going to need. I also don't know. So, okay. Machine will destroy any available liquid or gas at a rate of 50 liters per second. This creates um, 750 per minute. If we do some quick maths, 750 divided by 60 seconds is 12.5. So it seems like we can run, you know, about four distillation towers per layer stack, which is some good info. Um, of course, we don't have uh, four to do, so it's not a big deal. I think I'm going to hold off on chemical processing and just do the large transformer for now. Um, something, if you don't know about how this game, this game's power system works, let's go in depth a little bit here. So, up here we have our main power production. For us, we have a fairly simple um, grid here, but this is what our well, this is where our power is coming from. Each transformer, each column that you see here, is its own grid. So it's literally its own separate um, set of blocks. If anything is connected by these power floors or anything that connect conducts power, it's considered the same grid. But these transformers have a maximum transmission rate of five megawatts. So if you notice on this one, I have two transformers to get up to 10 megawatts. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to provide the 5.1 megawatts that this is starting to pull. That's why we need the bigger transformers. Now, of course, my base isn't actually using all that much power at the moment. I mean, we're combined only using about 4.8 and, you know, 4.7 of that is being used by the main grid. So not too big, but we are going to start getting into some bigger 
um, machines, and I'm going to assume that they are going to be taking more uh, power per. Now, let's see. Where do we want to put these distillation towers? I wouldn't mind putting it here. As long as there's space there. Now, of course, that is assuming that the input is there. No, nope. input's there. Output's there. Output's there. This is going to be a really annoying thing to build. Okay, let's try this direction. That is lined up correctly. We all have oil on this side. This will be our good stuff. And then this will be our waste stuff, which means that we can go ahead and put up a flare stack. Um, I would like to have the flare stack on a little roof area over here. For now, I think what we'll do is we'll just put the flare stack um, over here somewhere out of the way like that. Now, I want, I would like, actually, I would like to have a pump here just to get the one directional flow going. Let's go ahead and put the pump here. Then I would like it to go down. Then I would like to have two blocks to walk in. And then I don't care. So the earliest this distillation tower can appear is right here. That's a pretty big gap. And I would like to have it come back out of the floor there. So where's my pipe set? Go ahead and bring it up like this. We'll get the T's going like so, or the corners, I mean. That's no run, and there should be olamide in these pipes. Let's go ahead and Rotate these again. This is going to be a T-pipe. And then we're going to do that there. Now, if we run back upstairs. We should see that as soon as I configure this, it is running. Yes. It should fill up. Yes, it is. How is this doing? This is full. So four pump jacks can certainly handle at least one distillation tower. Good to know. Now, the next part is the waste gas. Waste gas needs to come out and down. Um, all the way down. Perfect. And then over. Did I line that up? I did. Wow, I'm a genius. And then we'll go into there. That is the waste gas. Now if we come back down under, we're going to need a try piece. Hmm. Might have to do one of these six-sided ones to get the connections that I want, unfortunately. Um, and then this will go like that. So that is waste gas. We can see it in there. That is production. Awesome. And now we are full up on liquid polymer, which we are going to store. I don't know where we're going to store it. Maybe we put our oil refining over here and our chemical processing over here. That would be probably the best idea. So I'm going to need another tank. Where's the tank at? Go ahead and put that there. And we'll just go like that. We have, there are lots of ports on it. I think they're all lint outs, so they don't really matter. Um, but this is going to go down. Like so. And then I want, uh, let's do it here. I think this will be, yeah, that'll be lined up perfectly. 
like so. And now we have liquid polymer. Perfect. I should have put a pump on this. Um, what we're going to do is actually bring it here. I'll put the pump here. Fine. And then we'll do a little bit like that. And then this needs to go here. Up, like so. And we're too far. Straight piece, curved piece. Done. Now we have the liquid polymer going one way. This is dissolving it perfectly. We are polluting the atmosphere. This is one directional. And we are producing. Good. Now, time for me to do that a whole lot of times. While I'm over here grabbing some more pipes, I figured I'd just let you guys know how low our xenoferrite reserve is. Thankfully, we do have... Uh, Mining Force 1 and the Freight Elevator is on the way, so we can hopefully uh, get the Xenoferrite patch that's like right here. Um, I think it's like that chunk right there. Uh, but, you yeah, know, we'll see if that actually ends up happening, at least in this video. And then what we're going to do, I'm almost done by the way, I just need to do the Liquid Polymer which is super easy. Just need to do this. And I believe that is everything. So now we can go ahead and hop back up here. All of these should be running. No backlog. No backlog. No backlog. No backlog. And no backlog. And we should be having Lots of liquid polymer. That is the good juice. And our flare stack is maxed out, actually. Interesting. So we're actually going to start backing up on waste gas. This grid is strained, and that is why we made the large circuits. Oh, we need circuit boards in order to do that. Well, for now, I will just go ahead and um, pop down another regular uh, transformer on here. Five distillation towers, so they take a megawatt each. That's pretty expensive. Um, and our power voltage just jumped doubled. Our power production needed is double. Thankfully, I made lots of extra stuff in advance. Now, where is that extra waste gas not going to? Because if we calculate it, when we calculated it, we should be over our flare stack capabilities. So I needed to figure out a better spot to put them. I think I'm going to move the flare stack out this way somewhere. Do a little something like that. And hopefully, I mean, these are both... Okay. They're back down. They've caught up. Perfect. Well, we can just leave this space for tanks if we need it. We don't know if we'll ever need tanks, but... We are actually slowly losing out on crude olamites. I wish these were better at telling you how much they produce. They don't say... But I'm thinking that we're going to need one more. Let's see if I can't fit one more pump jack in there somewhere. But uh, let's see. I think we're holding steady, maybe gaining a little bit. Awesome. Now, chemical processing. We need the circuit board. Circuit boards need the polymer board. How do we make the polymer board made in a casting machine? Okay. We need lots of casting machines and 
a whole new factory, basically. Wonderful. And then when we bring it over here, we can get these all of our boards made like a so. Awesome. Don't need that one for now. I want to see how big these large transformers are, because I'm going to have to start using them all over the place. But they need... How many? They need 10 circuit boards. No. Circuit board just needs electronic components, which I have plenty of, so I'll just... Uh, handcraft it for now. But let's see. One large transformer, please. That's going to take it a second to craft. Now, let me do this. And this is place and it needs wired up and now this can transmit 25 megawatts but we definitely don't need this boy over here anymore which is a good sign i'm gonna have to put one of these at the main base that's where the majority of the power is being used even now even with all of these running, although this is a way, way, way overkill for what little production we're doing. So let's show me. It will show me. Nice. Let's go ahead and go way down there. This is where the, fl the freight elevator is going to come in handy. His running belts vertically is awful. Uh, we're gonna need more. Be safe. There we are. And if we check these, these have lots of ore in them. This is gonna be great. Um, I don't have a way out though. <laughs> oh boy. That's all right. I can uh do that, and then I can. Go like that. There we go. That's deep down there. Well, that's going to be a problem for another day. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, please leave a like. It always helps me out. And I will see all of you guys next time.